Hey, welcome to another session. We are gonna work on some lino carving, block printing, AKA wood cutting, print making. It has so many different names, but this is carving into a material that's similar to linoleum. So we call this type of printmaking lino cut. When you are carving along, making your letter, thinking you're doing such a great job. I was really happy with the shape of the yes and how everything came out. And then I realized, whoops, what is it not? Backwards, it's not backwards. When I go to print this and peel it back away from the paint, that S is going to print out backwards. So I have to carve it backwards so that when I cover this in paint and press this down, then the paint that's left over on the shirt or the paper or whatever I'm print making onto my print, that letter will show up correctly. Okay, so um, I also was kind of going for the look of birch bark with my um, details inside of the letter S. So I want to just talk about the details inside your letter for a moment. After you've done your detail edge, you've removed the excess, and then you've carved your letter correctly backwards. Then you can do some detailing inside the letter that will show when you do the printing. Here is an example in my H, which doesn't have to be backwards because it's the same both ways on a capital H. On my K, I kind of went for a wood grain look. So those will, um, the lines will not print and the high surfaces closer to me, to me, those will print. So if I put brown here and print it on white paper, those lines would stay white because they're not gonna be filled with paint when I roll over. My roller's only gonna hit the surface that's closest to me, the highest parts, okay? Um, so then here on another example, Inside your letter, you can do a pattern. For this, I did a very small tip and I pressed down gently at a 45 degree angle and then I spun my carving tool. Of course, this would be done on a self-healing mat with my fingers far away from the cutting blade, okay? And then I did some marks. You might go on with a pencil and a ruler and make a whole pattern before you start carving if you want yours to be very geometric and uh, symmetrical. Okay, so the last thing to show you is when you're carving, you're gonna get really up close for this. We already know to be working from the center out. We already know to keep our shavings in the garbage and off the floor. What else do we know? We already know to keep our fingers away from the cutting edge. We know to keep our other sharp attachments put away. And I think I've already talked about working slow enough but I just wanted to show you up close how if you're working to remove a big section, so this is my L and I still have to clean up my edge and I'm trying to remove all of this up here and bringing it down, I'm not going lower than halfway through the thickness of my block. Um, but if you notice, a few edges right here are jagged. I have to remove that with a second go. I'm gonna go back over that and bring the layer down lower. So I will remove the jagged edge. However, here's my main point of this. 
if you're getting jagged lines, that immediately tells you that you're going too fast. So when you begin, you slightly dig in at a 45 degree angle. Once you kind of get some grip into, you feel your tool gripping into the material, that's when you can flatten it out. Low, but what I mean by flatten it out is lowering your tool towards the table. Get it, feel the grip, lower, and begin to move forward. Now, when you're moving forward, you should be moving slow enough that you're not getting those shredded edges. If you're getting shredded edges, you need to slow your roll. Here's a shredded edge and I'm just gonna go slowly over that again. Now, when I move slow enough, I'm gonna get a clean carve. When I'm moving too quickly, that's when your carve becomes jagged. So it's not just for safety, although yes, you should slow down for safety, but it's also slowing down for a better quality of carving. Okay, you don't wanna be moving faster than your tool is keeping up with you. So thanks for listening. I think you guys have got it at this point. I just wanted to go over a few extra details. I know that once you get going in the material, you understand it in a different way. Okay, so try to just take your time, go slow, go easy, clean up after yourself. And remember, these are sharp tools. <laughs>